Hello everyone, as you can probably tell, I'm really ill at the moment and speaking is both quite difficult and painful and my voice doesn't exactly sound very pleasant to listen to at the moment. So unfortunately, I've decided to not make a Space News Update video this week in order to not strain my vocal cords and of course produce a video that to my ear sounds a bit unpleasant to listen to. I can still do a very brief summary though. Last week was special because we had three Falcon 9 launches, Cosmo, SkyMed, Enrol 87 and Starlink. The the Enrol 87 mission was particularly great because SpaceX captured some amazing drone footage of the launch and landing. Sadly, the actual video quality isn't great because they only posted this on Twitter, which has horrible video compression, but it's still very cool nonetheless. We also had some fantastic footage of the first stage separation on the Cosmos SkyMed launch. Tracking cameras caught the moment of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and the Falcon 9 first stage flip maneuver. Fantastic stuff there. To briefly touch on Starship, Booster 4's engine nozzles were painted, making the booster basically complete now. This week, we're expecting to see SpaceX place it back onto the launch mount using the chopstick arms, and then stack Ship 20 on top of it. This will be a seriously impressive spectacle to see, a fully stacked Starship without a swarm of cranes and cables around it, as was the case last time this was done. And of course, both Ship 20 and Booster 4 look a lot more flight ready than they did during the first stacking operation. This is all in preparation for Thursday, which is going to be a huge day for Starship fans as Elon Musk has confirmed that there will be another Starship presentation on this day where hopefully we'll learn lots of new things about the rocket and SpaceX's ambitions. Anyway, I've just about exhausted my vocal strength. Again, apologies, this wasn't really a proper Space This Week episode, but i got to play with the cards I'm dealt. Hopefully I should recover in time for either my next Kerbal video on Saturday, I'm planning on going to Laith for anyone wondering, or my next Space News video on Monday. Anyway, thank you all for watching whatever this video was. <laughs>